Here's a little riddle for you. What does a gummy bear sound like when it gets caught in a bear trap? Oh. Hey there, guys. I thought I'd do a quick video on a few things I picked up this week. I don't normally buy Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I just, I saw these at the store and they're fantastic. I, I can't say it enough. Um, they just look like they're going to pop right off the screen. They're so movie accurate. Like, they feel great. They have, they cover the joints and so well you can hardly just the only joint you can really see is in the foot but besides that they, they, they look real they look like they're going to start talking to you i mean even i don't know if i can focus in on the eyes but look at the eyes look at the detail in the eye like geez that's incredible i can't i just can't believe how that you know i don't know if it's a new process that they've done now or something but the the toys lately have been coming so realistic like that hella figure um and he, look at that that's phenomenal so i had to buy these now <laughs> i was having a moral dilemma whether i should take them out or not um i almost bought an extra set but i don't really have a whole hell of a lot of money right now and i'm trying to save and what would be the point of me buying another set so i can have them in the box so i can put them away for 20 years so somebody can come in when I'm dead and sell them and I won't reap any of the benefits so I said screw it I took them out of the damn box it helps if I drink sometimes and I take stuff out of the box maybe one day I'll take a lot of it out of the box who knows <laughs> anyway what else did I get okay I got this here too that's the Rensor repaint um, now he comes with a battle mask and the flame effects and this is the original uh, I, I did like the original it's just that uh this one is way nicer and with that battle mask i never cared for that real face sculpt anyway but with the battle mask on it looks really good not to mention he has the articulated hands somewhat a little bit anyway as whereas opposed to that one did not have any and if you look at this one oh he went for a fly um i never got the back pieces um this is the one of the original well not the original one the second original one because i don't have the red sword i have the black sword but i don't even have anything on the feet now if you look at this one hang on turn this one around there it comes with all the back pieces which is great uh, i don't usually normally show them for the back anyhow but it's nice to have the, you know the fillers so yeah and dirt cheap i mean these 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 are really really cheap so i said ask her what i'll buy it so yeah it's a nice megatron now what else did i get oh uh, yes the open play galvatron i don't have any galvatrons i'm never really well i got mad at galvatron i guess back in the day just because i like megatron's voice frank welker's voice better uh, with the other megatron i don't know i never really cared for galvatron but anyway um, he's a nice sculpt. Now, what did I do differently? I put a little bit of uh, black line accents on him a little bit, just to, to highlight. Um, you couldn't see his mouth before or anything, so uh, looks okay. What else did I get? I got this at a secondhand store. Goku, excuse me, turtle. Okay, all right. Yes, I got the Goku. It was oh, oh the flame effects your your arms burning but not in the right way. Hang on, okay, sorry about that. There we go. I think that's the way it goes. I'm not. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it wants to stay that way. Fine. Um, yeah, uh, I'm not sure this is the Super Saiyan yet, but uh, it's, maybe it is. I mean, did he have the black? Yeah, he had the yellow hair in the Super Saiyan, so maybe it is. Yeah. Anyway, it was a really nice sculpt, and it was dirt cheap again. I see. Now, with my reviews, my half ass reviews, as I call them, um, you're going to get the cheapest figures you can because lately I have no money, so I have to make my money stretch. So <laughs> everything you see here is dirt cheap. So there you go. And I recommend everything that I got. Hang on. One other thing. Yeah, I picked these up at a secondhand store, too. They were still in the package. I got a really good price on them. And I was wondering why it was so good, and it's because 
He-Man has a hole on the side of his package and Skeletor is all bent in the back. But anyway, I wanted them and I wasn't able to find them for the most part. So I'm in canon here. Remember that, right? <laughs> so I got them. Hang on. One other thing. Hey, Lola. My dog's sleeping. She don't care. <laughs> in case anybody was wondering... I did take out Korg and the Grandmaster. Their package wasn't very good. I actually got it for cheaper because there was a sale and I got my money back. So I decided to keep it. Now I did a, bl a block black wash on this one too for the line filler. Because I found there was no definition in the rock whatsoever. Where now with the lines at this kind of more, I don't know, more depth. Right? It kind of, I think it looks better. But anyway. Alright, what else? I guess the last real thing is just an update on my cabinet, or one of my cabinets, I, I should say. Um, I got some more LED lights, and I transformed the dragon finally, because he's so good. It's gorgeous, that dragon. So I decided to put it something like So it's probably going to stay somewhat like this. Little tweaks here and there. But I think it looks pretty good. I mean, as I get more Megatrons and, and more Beast Wars, I'm, I am going to get the, uh, the Beast Wars Megatron, the new one, the Takara. I'll probably wait for the knockoff to come out or something because it's like $450 here, which I don't really want to pay $450. If I thought it was worth it, I would pay it, but I don't think it's worth $450. So anyway, that's just the rest of the cabinet. I thought I'd do a little update. So it looks pretty good, I think. So right on, guys. I'll talk to you later. Thanks. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. This one never could... Move its arms. The ratchet in the arms never worked where this one they totally fixed. They're so if um if you can pick this figure up, I do recommend it, but uh make sure you pick up this one. Don't uh don't buy this one. I don't know if they even sell this one anymore. They probably don't, but uh this one's way, way better. What else? I almost forgot these two. Oh, this is the Tamiya Paneline accent color that I use on a lot of my figures. Uh, it just works really well. And I could anyway, so I got these two and now these are cheap. Like crazy cheap. Like, I don't know, like ten, fifteen dollars, something like that for all three. Something like that. It's crazy. And look at that how nice they are. Now I saw a video on these. These are the The Mech Van Toys ones, and it used to come with a, one was crystal, one was like a see-through plastic, and the other two were like this. They were probably getting a lot of breakage on that. That crystal plastic is very, this is the original. Uh, so you can see how they did such a great job on that one. Like, that's the original. Like, there's not even any antenna. Look at the antenna. The antenna, I think, really do it for me. Like, in the eyes, and just... I don't know, it's just, and it's much sturdier. Like, it doesn't, doesn't, or this one, it's just, it moves a lot and everything. It's, I don't know, just, they did a great job on these. So, yeah, if you like the Sharktacons, you really want these figures. For the price, I mean, they're next to nothing, and they're just, they're great. <laughs> they're just fantastic, I love them. Cool. All right, guys, later.